Well, hello, everyone. I think everybody enjoys the win on a Friday night. <laughs> Newcastle have just beaten Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park by two goals to nil. All the pressure was on Steve Bruce and he has delivered. A 2 0 win away from home here with Sam, here with Adam. We're here to score the players. Get your scores in in the live chat and also in the comments. Do you agree with our scores as they go in? We'll wait and see. Uh, Adam, I'll let you start with Carl Darlow. Some fantastic saves yet again. It's, we're just repeating ourselves, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, first half especially, he made a good few. Eight out of ten for me. Very difficult to criticise him at the minute. Um, there's one save in the first half. He really kept us in it. They were getting in on the left a bit. He's crossing, you know, catching the ball and the cross coming is just getting better and better. We had a good debate and they were watching along about should he actually keep his place ahead of Bravka, which is obviously for a different video. But yeah, eight out of ten, solid as always. Um, making them saves when he has to. And obviously, you know, he builds that platform for us to go and get the win in the end. Yeah. A big Bar. clean sheet, a big, big clean sheet for Newcastle's defence. And of course, Carl Dollar as well, rightly deserved of a clean sheet. And it's been a little while. So it's a big, big tick for, for that, for Steve Bruce and the defence. And of course, the goalkeeper, as we mentioned, I'll start with the back four. We were all kind of shocked. We didn't know if it was going to be 4 4 2, 4 3 3. <laughs> Sam's favourite formation, 4 2 3 1. But it was 4 4 2. I'll start with Jamal Lewis, the left back. Um, I thought he did pretty well tonight. I think he was better defensively, and I think he wasn't going forward. Um, actually, used his right foot for a shot, which I didn't think he actually had a right foot. If I'm being brutally honest, I was looking at it uh, the last few games. I'm thinking, has he really done anything with his right foot? Um, but I'll give him an eight out of ten as well. I think one thing I do like about him is that he is very switched on. He, do he doesn't he doesn't panic. When he's got the ball, he's very comfortable on the ball. And there was times where you're thinking, if that was, say, a Yedlin, or I'll even put a Paul Dummett with that, maybe he'd maybe panic in certain situations. But I thought, I don't think Paris had much down that side either, really. No, uh, he kept Andros Townsend really quiet, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, 60 minutes and he was off, wasn't he? So everyone was kind of and Yeah, defensively, I think he was brilliant. I Going like forward... On, I would Sam. still just, I'd, I'd still like to just maybe up the tempo a little bit. He's still a yeah. bit, um, a, a, a bit slow making the final decision for whether he's going to whip across in, and he dawdles just that split second too long, and then the attack kind of stagnates and he has to play it back. Um, but apart from that, I like Jamal Lewis. Always have, um, yeah. Especially so, on that on his left foot though, if he can just get it in first time. Yeah. Look at Richie today. One touch, straight in, and Joe Linton should have done better and Wilson had a, a chance as well later on. If he can kind of add that to his game and maybe work on his right foot and get crosses from either side, he will be one hell of a fullback. And we all were kind of amazed that we got him because obviously Liverpool were linked with him as well. So those performances keep improving. Jamal Lewis will be one fullback that will be on a lot of top six club shopping lists in the future. But a great, great performance from Jamal Lewis. So I'll let you start with Kieran Clark. Um Obviously, it was him and Fernandez as the two. Steve Bruce obviously wanted to go back to two at the back. And I think Clark and Fernandez are the better two if you're putting two central defenders because I think Fabian Scher needs an extra man when uh, he goes on one of his little mazy runs. What did you make of Kieran Clark's performance this evening? Just what we come to expect from Kieran Clark in a Newcastle shirt these days. Um, really solid. Um, didn't really put a foot wrong the whole game. Um what I would have liked to have seen, well, nothing. He's he's he was fine. He's fine. He's just per he's just perfectly fine. Palace targeted um, their attack with pace, which I think was there to unsettle Fernandez and Clark because their area aerial ability is so good, which is why you like to Benteke um, didn't start. So they tried to worry him out of it with pace, which. Um, Fernandez got caught out once or twice, but yeah. minor, very minor. Um, Clark was fine, um, really, really solid. Um, yeah, good to see him back. And the shirt's his now uh, for him to lose. Adam Federico Fernandez was his partner in crime today. Some fantastic blocks, especially towards the end. I remember one, I think it would have been, was it Czech Kuate or Christian Bentec? I forget which yeah. one who it was. Kuate. And it, yeah, Kuate, and it was on, he turned on his back about five, six minutes from the end. That's a huge moment because if that goes in, Newcastle aren't getting a 2 0 win, and it, it might have probably been a defeat for Steve Bruce's side. Um, I, I mean, Simon kind of talking before we started, Adam, about Federico Fernandez. I thought it might be somebody else that might get the uh, man of the match award, but I thought he wasn't that far behind today. 
No, we 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 mentioned last week. We were speaking to Sam um, on the show last week. His performances haven't been great, and then tonight he's gone straight back up there. You know, he, he's upped his level a bit. For me, and I'm, I know he's not played tonight. We won't go on to Slade. I think Fernandez is a lot better when Lascelles isn't next to him. Um, someone like Clark, who was tonight, eight out of ten. Um, again, them them clearances you mentioned, Johnny. First half, he got caught as Sam mentioned a couple of times with a bit pace, which is, you know, he's, that it, that is his game, unfortunately. Um, but he's just we're a better team with Fernandez in it. Um, you know, we signed him for pretty much nothing. Um, he never really lets us down. I his form hasn't been as good, but. I do. I think he's our best centre half at the club now. Um, and again, he's he puts his body on the line for the club. And as fans, we always say, just do that, and we'll respect you. And he does. Mint. I think he grew into the game, didn't he? Um, I thought he was a bit shaky early on. The pace seemed to trouble him, and he, he did get put on his ass a couple of times. Um, yeah. But he grew into the game. That clean sheet will do him the world of good because his form was going the wrong way. So hopefully, this would um, put a stop to that now. And that block was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. it reminded me of Czech Teote. Just Throwing yourself at Chuck it, himself, the block himself at. God rest his soul. Yeah, a fantastic performance from Federico Fernandez in the week that Diego Maradona passed away as well. So I'm sure the Argentinian will be raising a glass of whatever he drinks, <laughs> um, or maybe a can of Stella as Adam is I drinking. Stella. <laughs> Could you imagine it's my, it's my Fernandez first, on the bus? <laughs> it's my first. It's my first night off night shift this week, so I'm enjoying a couple of cans while our lasses looking after the band. So. That's the way it Good should man. be. That's the way it should be. But no, if. Uh, Fernandez is sipping a can of Stella in the back of the bus <laughs> after tonight. I'll be absolutely amazed, but it'll be brilliant to say the least. Um, I'm just Papi watching the goals. I'm just watching the goals back there on the background. Oh, I, love winning. I love winning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was it on Amazon, Adam? Was it, or was it um, on someone else? <laughs> no, Amazon. 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 Oh, good. I'm glad it was working. Um, right, <laughs> Javier Manquio for myself. Um, I don't think he's as good as the rest, so I'm going to drop him down to seven. I just think going forward, he's still not great. Defensively, I thought he did okay. I thought he did okay. I think, again, Crystal Palace. Um, Eze was always the one that was kind of darting towards that side. But again, Eze wants to be more central. You can see that he was just behind our midfielder, just in front of a defence. There's little pockets in there. Um, but I thought he was okay. It was a much better improved performance than last week. Um, is he Newcastle's best right back? Probably because he's our out and out. He's an out and out right back. Oh, I don't know what that noise is. Apologies if you can hear that noise. Um, but yeah, I, I, again, a better performance than Chelsea. He wasn't obviously taken off after 55 minutes like he was last week. So continue that against Aston Villa next week, Javier. The marks will definitely go up. Go on, Sam. I think um, just to touch upon your point about him going forward. I don't think he was given much help, which we'll come on to yeah, um, when we address the right-hand side of midfield. OK, we'll address the right-hand side of midfield. It's Jeff Hendrick, Sam. Um, was it Jeff Hendrick? Was he playing, yeah. was he? Yeah. OK. Is he, is Sam, is he there to just be, not a spare part, but just to basically be our defensive cover on that right-hand side? And it was kind of like, right, left-hand side will kind of give Al Niron the freedom to kind of express himself a little bit more. Um. I think you're being generous there. Yeah, I do. I mean, if I was Jacob Murphy, I'd be. Uh, I wouldn't be happy at being dropped today. Um, yeah. yeah, I agree. I can't think of anything of note that Jeff Hendrick did all game, and he played ninety minutes. He didn't offer anything going forward. He, he tucked in, played very narrow. Um, obviously, he likes to play centre mid, but Bruce keeps sticking him on that right hand side because we're told he can play there. I don't see it. It didn't 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 do anything for me. It was um, the kind of sore point of the night. So I'm giving him a four. Um, mm. a bit harsh, in my opinion. What did he do? I think for I think for me, he's he's there to do a certain job, Sam. I think Bruce has kind of gone. We don't want a lot of joy down that side in terms of Crystal Palace attacking or any team attacking. And I don't like Van. But Van I don't think Van Hal really pressured us going going massively forward, apart from that big chance near the end. And Schlupp had, a, uh, Schlupp had a bit of joy down that left-hand side as well. Not on many occasions. I don't think many teams had a great deal of chances, as, as in like clear-cut chances tonight. Mm, I, don't, I just didn't see the point. I don't think, I, look, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I would have gone much higher. I don't know about yourself, Adam. I, 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 I think he was brought in to... Let, uh, someone mentioned before, I can't remember who it was, let Almiron do the running. Um, I was very surprised... 
it, it some Steve Bruce up, you know, let's take Almiron off and put Richie on and keep Hendrick on because Hendrick wasn't doing much. But Hendrick's there not to go forward, in my opinion. He's there to just sit there and maybe he's took in the middle if we're getting we're getting overrun. Um, I do think it's a bit harsh, but not too much. He, as Sam says, he didn't really do a lot. Um, but I, I, Steve Bruce rates him. I think Steve Bruce will start him next week. Um, he won, um, yeah, he's, he's just one of them players. He's, does he deserve the criticism he gets? He's not really bringing much to the team. Attacking, but he's just doing the doggy stuff at the back. But if Jack I agree with Sam, starts but, on that right-hand side against Villa, he's going to get torn a new one. Yeah, I agree with Sam Murphy. I thought Murphy was very unlucky considering he played well against probably against Southampton compared to who, who everyone else, Chelsea, everyone was the same. I thought Murphy should have started today. Yeah, I agree. I think Murphy should have started. I just think it's it depends. It's, I think Bruce is under a lot of pressure and I think he's probably played it safe. I think he thought if I play out Miron and Murphy tonight, if we go 1 0 down, are they going to, if they're both bomb forward, are we going to be in trouble? But it's, it's yeah. paid off tonight for him, I suppose. Um, Adam, I'll let you continue in the centre of the midfield. I'll let you start with Sean Longstaff. Um, arguably, I thought one of the best outfield players last week. I thought this week, I thought he was more or less the same as last week. I thought he was really, really comfortable. I thought there a couple of good runs, especially in the second half that won the free kick for Richie. Um, I thought it was a really a promising run. I thought before the game, he was going to be the number 10. I thought I, I agree with Sam before the game. I thought it was going to be a 4 2 3 1 with Sean just behind, but it wasn't the case. But um, didn't give the ball away as much as well, which we kind of sometimes no. um, not, don't like about Sean Long stuff. But that's, I think it's been two very good performances in the last two weeks. Yeah, I'm going to give Sean a 7 out of 10. I think his passing was a lot crisper today. Um, he didn't do a lot wrong. Um, I'll, you know, I know we finished the game on a high, but him and Shelby did work hard um, in the middle of midfield. I've been saying this about Sean for a long time. He needs a good run in the team. He needs 10, 11, 12 games where we can start saying, right, this is how he is. He's now had four, I think. Maybe that's four in a row where he's started. And he is getting better. He is getting a bit better. I think a lot of fans expect him to get the ball and be pinging balls like Shelby. He's not that type of player. He's going to have to have... I agree he's more of a number 10, but Bruce isn't going to play him there. Um, so, yeah, again, he did well today. He's not going to... I don't think he'll come out the team against Villa. This is what we ask for as Newcastle fans, local lads in the team. You put a picture of him on, of him on Facebook, how's he doing? People slate him. It's not fair. He's, he's still learning. He's still a young lad. Um, and I, It was a good game from today. Um, I think he plays better alongside Shelby than he does any other centre midfielder. Like. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a really, really good performance by him today. Uh, next to him, as you rightly said, Adam, was John Josh. Go on, Sam. Sorry. Um, he got booked, which was absolutely disgraceful because it was one hell of a cracking tackle. Never a foul. <laughs> never a yellow. <laughs> Absolutely. On the edge of their box. Tackle. Is that right in the edge of their box? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. thought it was superb cracking tackle, but never a yellow in my opinion. Never, well, it wasn't even a freaking foul, but sorry, continue. We'll let you have a rant about referees later on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> John Joe Shelby for me, I'm going to agree with Adam. I think seven out of ten as well um, for uh, for John Joe. Great to see him back in the team. We do miss him against teams like Palace. He, he, yeah. he gives you something different. And we kind of got the ball a lot more forward quicker. If you've seen on Amazon before the game, if your stream was working, um, Alan Shearer was basically saying before the game, too many sideways passes, too many backwards passes. We haven't got someone that can get a ball and get the likes of your likes of Alan or ASM Wilson before. Obviously that obviously that was the Chelsea game in particular, onto the ball quicker and going forward quicker. Today we did that and we did that very early on. I thought the first 20 minutes we really um, showed what we were going to do tonight. So I think John just showed he deserves a lot of credit. And again, I think he loves being captain. Whenever he gets the chance to be captain of this football team, he really flourishes from it. Um, I don't think I've seen many bad performances with John just showing he's got the captain's arm bound. So I hope that keeps on going in the next week as well. But a brilliant performance. Great to see him back and hopefully he continues his good form. Uh, Sam Miguel Almiron. Um, next thing mm. for him. Um, it was kind of typical Miggy in a way because he huffed and puffed and there was no real substance to anything he did in the end, which is a shame because it wasn't for trying. Um, I'll give him a steady six. Um, the effort was there, the application was there, but um, the kind of final ball, some passes were a bit sloppy, but he did okay in the main. Um, I think it was the right decision to, to t if you were going to take him off, I wouldn't have argued. Maybe I would have liked to have seen him been put in the 10 for a bit. I think he's out of position, Sam, again. Out of position. 
Yeah, this is this is the thing. Um, things aren't things aren't rosy. Things aren't rosy with Miguel Almiro. There's something going no. on with him and his or him and his age. It's not it's not right. There's something going on. Yeah, the, it could be a few like that because um, you looked at Miggy on the bench with the cameras there, and he, he just sat there glum, which is very un Miggy like. Um, even when the uh, chances were going in and Miggy was very unmoved on the bench, I saw. So, uh, yeah, the, the, there might be an issue there going uh, going forward with him. But, uh, yeah, um, not really his night, Miggy, for creating clear-cut chances. We're, yeah, seeing, we're sure. seeing it too many times now, aren't we, though, with Miggy? Hmm. We're, seeing, we're, seeing, we're seeing it a lot now with Miggy. Yeah, but like you said, well, if he's always been put out of position, does he? Does Steve Bruce have to say, well, if I'm not, if I can't play you in the ten, I don't play you at all? Essentially, maybe put a Murphy on, on that side or an ASM well, when he's fit. He's playing. A, he was playing ASM in the ten, which didn't work. So why 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 couldn't you just swap them two around? Is beyond me. But I don't know. That, yeah, it, it's something's got to resolve itself somewhere. Maybe after that, I come we're watching. Hey, who knows? Um, right, let's move into the uh, the two strikers. The two strikers, not one striker. We got two, two mates, both on the score sheet as well. Um, who will I give you, sir? Uh, Adam? I will give you. I'll give you Callum Wilson. I'll give you Callum Wilson. Twenty million pounds, seven goals in the Premier League this season. Eighty-eight minute. You want a Callum Wilson in that position to put the ball in the back of the net? And what did he do? He put the ball in the back yep. of the net. Again, I, I don't think it was his best game for Newcastle, but he's still getting a 9 out of 10 for me for just the way he holds up the ball for me um, and how he finishes. That I mean, I, I was just seeing on the live stream anyway, should, the game was fizzling out, we'll take a nil-nil, and then someone like him jumps up. Whoever scores Gillette next, if you've watched the goal back or you remember how we set it up, absolutely brilliant, but that's what you want. And Wilson was there. He finished it cool as a fucking cucumber. Oh, I mean... We're such a better team with with Callum Wilson in it. it. As a fan, you sit there, you're like last week again, Southampton, um, not Southampton, Chelsea. You just sat there, and you go, "We're not going to create anything." With Wilson, you've always got that bit extra. Um, I just love him absolutely. But the only thing is, I just wish there was fifty thousand fans there just screaming his name because he's he's scoring goals for the club. He still doesn't realise how adored he's going to be by us lot when he when we get there. Um, nine, nine out of ten, I thought, just best bit of business this summer. Sam, is that the type of striker you want? Someone that doesn't really get a lot of chances but still find the back of the net? Yeah, I mean, I can't really add much on to what Adam's saying there because I agree with Nye on all of it. Um, you know, he, he didn't have... He was fairly quiet, all things considered, for most of the game, but bang, pop up, one chance, there you go. Mm -hmm. If that had been any of our other strikers, you wouldn't... You know, that might not have been a goal, but He's he's for he's not the tallest in the world, but like Adam says, holds the ball up really well. Not the fastest in the world, but does have a good turn of foot about him. He's just a really good all round, proper centre forward, which makes all the difference when he's in the team. He's absolutely crucial to this to this side. He is, and his partner, Joe Linton. Now, everyone's had the go at Joe Linton over the last twelve to eighteen months, and people were saying, "Need to sell him." I said. We should sell him. I'll sell him for £10 million. Now, this is, only, this is only the first game where he's scored and he's got an assist in the same game. I don't think that goal will be taken off him. Um, I think he was Newcastle's man of the match tonight. I really do. I think his hold-up play was brilliant at times. I really, there was a couple of times where the ball kind of just didn't bounce where he was, it was going. He had chances. I think he could have scored a hat-trick tonight. I Love really do. He, but he, what an assist for Wilson. And he deserved a little bit of luck. He deserved a little bit of love at Arden tonight. tonight. Um, I'm going to give him nine and a half out of ten tonight. Uh, do you know? Do you know what? I, I don't. I didn't think I was ever going to give him higher than an eight or a seven <laughs> on this show, but I'm going to give him nine and a half. Um, I, I just thought he was at times. I don't think Crystal Palace. I don't think their defense knew how to deal with him. And I like the fact he wasn't the main man on top at times. I like the fact that Wilson was bullying. Palace is several defenders and he was just dropping off because I think he's quite good at running them with the ball. Mm. I think it was, yeah. it was only once that I can really think of where I think Nathaniel Klein just got past him when he heads it on in the first half and you think, well, he might be, might be through here. But if he can just get a couple of couple more goals, like I think that, that the chance in the first half where 
I think it's Scott Dunn plays a poor pass and he's there just in the yeah. edge of the box and it's left foot. If that goes in, that's the type of goals we want to be seeing from him. But you can't not his performance tonight. Um, honestly, the, that goal at the end, look, yes, it takes a deflection. It probably would have rolled straight in Guaya's hands if it didn't hit uh, Gary Cahill. But do you know what? Sometimes you just need a bit of luck and the lad probably deserves it. And um, is it, yeah, is really it cool. is it Cisco Wilson? It's so good. I've just seen it, it back there before. It is so good. It's a brilliant assist. Brilliant assist. And and it's his goal. I, I thought it was his best performance tonight in, in two years. I think. Yeah. Made all the difference having two up front with him, didn't it? Um, yeah. Looks looked comfortable on the ball. Um, just general all round. That assist is, has won the game. Um, I'd just like to reference um, we have an NFTV WhatsApp group, and before the game, what did I put on there? Four, two, three, one. No, I didn't. I said <laughs> Joe Linton will score tonight. I also said on the preview that Bruce would uh, stick with five at the back, and it'd be nil nil. So, uh, just for those who think I, I am arrogant, I'm not. I'm, I promise. I'm not at all. Brad balanced things out a little bit. But yeah, he's done really well. Um, I'd like to have seen him bury one of the chances that he had in the first half. Um, I always remember what's, uh, when we had Super Mac on the channel um, that he's got to, how he's got to apply himself, you know, miss, miss, score. He needs to be putting away some of these chances. But yeah, it's, it's really nice to see um, Joe Linton come through this and put in his best performance. Makes all the difference having two up front. And who, look at that. Clean sheet with four at the back as well. Who would have thought it? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Just consistency will be the message I'll be sending to Joel. And can you keep on getting deliver, deliver this sort of performance? Because if you will, you'll win the fans back with more performances like that for sure. Um, Sam, the first substitute tonight was Matt Ritchie. Great to see him back. I haven't seen him since the Spurs game, which we managed to get a deserved point, if you can remember rightly. Um, great to see him back. Yeah, it was. And... Um, just to reference earlier the point I made about Jamal Lewis um, just taking a, a fraction of a second too long. This is what Richie does so well. Gets the ball at his feet, gets it out, bang, whips it in. He put a couple of cracking crosses in when he came on, um, which Joe Linton was unlucky with a header, just got up a bit too soon, just took it off Wilson's foot as well. Um, and there was a couple of others as well. So seven for me. I think he he played better than Almiron on that left tonight. So good to see him back. I think there's an argument for putting him right uh, right midfield against Aston Villa. You can see his yeah. passion. You can see you can see his passion. As soon as he comes on, he, he's encouraging every player on the pitch to do the best they can. And I don't think there's anyone else in the Newcastle strip does that by Matt Ritchie. You can, you can tell as soon as he comes on, if someone fucks up, he's on the back and he's encouraged. He's you know he's a, he's a, he's a captain. Leadership qualities. Leadership yeah. qualities, that's what you need in a team. And Matt Ritchie is certainly one of our leaders when he's on the pitch and he's firing because you don't want to let him down, essentially. Because if he's having a go at you, you don't want to have another go from him because he, you can tell that's the passion, like you say, Adam, is, is absolutely superb. Yeah. Um, Fabian Scher came on with about two seconds left. Not applicable. But, uh, yeah, he was just there to run around for about 30 seconds. So that's probably a nice appearance fee for him. Um, Steve Bruce, Sam, you said in the preview, he'll stick with five at the back. You said that he won't change it. You said that it's going to be a boring nil-nil draw. You're going to give him a bit of credit tonight. Yeah, I mean, I was nearly right. It was plateauing. <laughs> um, it was plateauing a bit until um, a lovely bit of quality at the end. Um, I'm glad he changed it. It needed to change. Credit to him for doing that. Eventually, um, may have been forced a little bit with these players testing for COVID. Um, or showing symptoms for COVID, um, Kraft, Lascelles and, and Isaac Hayden. Um, but he could have easily have stuck share in there and, and, and gone with five. So, no credit to him. Um, I wouldn't say I was overly enamoured. 4-4-2 worked well with Joe Linton up there and Wilson. Hopefully that can flourish. I still don't like the look of our midfield. I think that's still a bit of an issue. Um Hendrick should have gone off. Should have, he should have been? He should have gone off. Um, apart from that, I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to. At the end of the day, we've won two 0 so I don't want to be negative. Um, 
but there was only one team trying to win that game with attacking substitutions, and that was Crystal Palace. <laughs> they brought on brought on their strikers off the bench, and and we brought on Matt Ritchie. We, we effectively just made one change tonight, and Palace were the only ones that were looking to to get the win. Um, unlucky, but you know, <laughs> um, it is what it is. It's a results business, as you say, and, and he, he's got a result tonight, which will um, buy him some more time, I'm sure. What score would you give him before I put the final score on? Six or a seven? Give us one. <laughs> 6, 6.5 then, seeing as though we do point fives these days. Adam... Steve Bruce was under a lot of pressure, as Sam rightly says. There was a lot of fans that were saying Bruce out last week, and you know, it, it was a big, big game for him. And look, he did make changes. And Callum Wilson being fit, of course, is obviously a massive, massive boost. But to get a good performance out of Joe Linton, to be a bit more steady at the back, um, it's 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 a big, big positive and a big, big, I think, big result for Steve Bruce tonight. It is. It is. He's still getting a five out of ten for me. Um, that you know, it's he has changed the formation, but every fan could see he had to change the formation. It wasn't something you know if he'd gone and played five at the back today, for God that you know it, it wouldn't have worked. He had to change that formation. He knew that. Um, it was nil nil till eighty five, eighty six minutes. For me, it's only the quality of Callum Wilson who's getting us out the game. Um, Jalinton, excellent, yes, brilliant. D- does that come down to Steve Bruce? For me, no, it doesn't. He's playing him with someone. Um, he's played him on the, on the left up front. He's played him out of position so many times. I know, I know I'm sure people will disagree with me. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to criticise Bruce at all. But I'm not going to give him high marks either. It was a change that had to be made in the formation. Um, for me, it's a, it's the quality that Callum Wilson provides, um, and and Shelby coming back in the team to give us the result, not Bruce's tactics. Was it not down to Bruce though to bring those players back in? I don't think he's had a choice, mate. To be honest. Um, I think he's been that under pressure and his arrogance in his press conference is starting to annoy us. Maybe I shouldn't put that into me in, in me, uh, me thinking, but I'm, I'm, I'm not criticising I'm not criticising. Sorry, Sam. No, you go on. You go on. No, no I'm not criticising Bruce by any means. He, but he had to make the change tonight. Um, I've been looking forward to this game all day, so I was over the moon. I'd seen it. But for still, we could have lost that game tonight. And for me, again, it comes down to the quality of Callum Wilson. I'm not going to praise Bruce too much because of um, I thought it was the 20 million centre forward that won us the game. So, yeah. what are you going to say? Um, with 10 minutes to go, I just had visions of his post match um, presser of him going, Well, it's a good point away from home, you know, and, and that would have just boiled my piss completely. Um, and, he, and, he and, he would have been, and he would have been happy with that point away from home. That's, that's, you know, well, yeah, he would, because he, like I say, his substitutions yeah. weren't, weren't anywhere near as positive as Crystal Palace's. Um, I know he didn't have a plethora of options coming off the bench, but Jacob Murphy was sat there whilst Jeff Hendrick was having a picnic somewhere in between right and centre midfield. Um, there was one highlight for me in the first half when Joe Linton had that shot that skied 20 yards over the bar. Uh, you could hear Bruce shout, oh, fuck's sake, Joe, um, <laughs> which which did pick up briefly. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's 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 a nice start to the weekend for a change, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got exactly, the win. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously Sam's gone with a six and a half. Adam's gone with a five. I was actually going to go with seven. So do we go with six? Yeah, a fair one. We'll go with six. But I, I, think I might bit... be being too. I might be too I harsh. I, I... I think you've been incredibly harsh there, too... Adam. You've got to remember away from home in the Premier League, regardless of who it is, against Crystal Palace at mid table. I think it's a fantastic result. Look, Steve Bruce. Oh, I love the. Go on. I, no, I love the result. I'm not criticizing the result. I just. If, if if it was if it was two 0 after sixty minutes and we comfortably won the game, I'd probably give him a seven. But I think it's only because of Callum Wilson and Jalinton linking up. Well, again, he's changed the formation, but he had to. That's not again. He had to change that formation. I think we we, you know, it could have went the other way. It could have went the other way. I think I think he's been a little bit harsh. I think you've got to remember again, Premier League away from home, big pressure on Steve Bruce after the Chelsea game, and it was a big big result. Changes had to be made. Yes, I know he was forced a little bit. But he could have easily gone five at the back. He could have easily put Fabian Shaw there. He could have easily kept it as it is and put, I don't know, he could have put Hendrick on one side. He could have, you know, took, like, and tucked in maybe a Murphy in 
and just left Wilson up, up top by himself. He could have put Joe Linton on the left and maybe not have gone 4 4 2. I think it's one of those games where you just need to, you know what, try something different. And the pressure is on him. If he didn't try anything different and it was going to end up in a defeat tonight, there would be more questions about, asked about Steve Bruce. I'm not a Steve Bruce in all the oh, time, but I know. you've got to give the man credit when you get performances like that because we're easily going to criticise him when you look at the performances against Southampton, against Chelsea last week as well. So I think he deserves a little bit of credit and it'll ease him, ease him off a little bit. I just want a bit more consistency and that the formation and the personnel can be a bit different because I think, like Sam says, we go on about certain players that shouldn't really deserve to play. Jeff Hendricks shouldn't really be getting a start. No. At the I don't think Javier Mancure should be getting a start, but that's just me personally. I think Jacob Murphy uh, and ASM getting played in his right position, you know, I, that, that would be what I want. And Miguel Nguyen playing in the right position. There's kind of two big things for a manager that you need to get right. The style of play and the result on the pitch. You definitely got the result on the pitch tonight. The style of play, it definitely improved in the last two games. Yeah. I think you're being a bit overly fickle, getting too high when we win and too low. And you, the, the issues are still there. Um, yeah. And, and it would be a very telling... We, we could be sat here this time next week and he's stuck with the exact same team and he's stuck with the exact same formation. Palace are four four two. are the type of team to kind Would you of... change it next week, Sam? Yeah. What would you change next week? But like, just in terms of, is it just literally the Jeff Hendrick position, or is it the? Yeah. What would you change? Um, it, well, it depends who's fit. Another week we might have Ryan Fraser back. We might exactly. have exactly. We might have ASM back. The the lads, fingers crossed, they they test negative for COVID, so they can come back in. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be keeping that team unchanged because it was still looking pretty. It was a dire game for the large part, wasn't it? I know we got two late winners, yeah. which means but we're late. Did we deserve to lose, though? I don't think we did. I don't think uh, at the time. I no, I don't think, I think we did deserve to lose. Minutes, but, but 70, 75 minutes. 70, 75 minutes. We didn't get. We did, I didn't think we deserved to win, but I didn't think we deserved to lose. No, we didn't. No, no, no we, we didn't deserve to lose. No, not at all. But but them issues for Bruce are still there. And after every win, what has he this season? What has he done? He's kept the exact same team, and we've had a, we've had an absolute mare. So. Um, like I say, Villa Villa should be targeting our right hand side going down their yeah. left after watching that tonight. Especially if Bruce does keep the same team because there was just no width or anything about it. i don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely over the moon that we've won tonight. Um but there's still some underlying issues there. All is not completely rosy now that we've just won a game. It's rosy for a couple of hours anyway, so it is, yeah. <laughs> We've made a formation change. We've gone two instead of three because I don't know where Adam's gone. Um, <laughs> so um, we'll probably wrap it up here. But um, yeah. sorry, you had a good. Quite not. <laughs> See, well, Too many we'll, Stellas we'll there. Exactly. See, you know what it was? We were better at two at the back, to be honest with you, uh, Adam. I think yeah. the back just unsettles things, doesn't it? Um, no, just of course we've got the group reaction to come, and we've also got the last word with Lee and Matt. Will digest the Newcastle's two 0 win away from home. Again, Friday night games aren't not my particular favourite, but if we keep winning away from home, I'm sure we'll all be very happy. And it's exactly the same next week. Aston Villa away next Friday night. Um, it's on a different TV programme, so we might be able to watch it a little bit better. But um, it's Aston Villa away, and that's always going to be one game that Newcastle fans are going to talk about. So make sure you return to Newcastle fans TV with all the, re the re uh, review of the game with the score and the players the uh, a live reaction show will be back next Friday night I know you've all been waiting for it but it's next Friday we're going to have the live reaction show back um, as well so it's all going to be going off this week we'll have the Aston Villa preview as well but uh, and what else the Greenwood and Mulner show there's a lot of yes. we've got three am I right in well, we're, three? Well, we're, 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 we're recording three they're not all going to be out this week Jesus you no. don't want to shoot your bolt but uh, yeah, we're recording three this week. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got I'll, I'll, we've got a former Newcastle player, somebody from Sky Sports, and somebody else. We'll leave it at that, possibly. Uh, well, that, I must say that former that former Newcastle player is a must watch. Mine, must watch. There you go. There you go. And it's not even the Green with all of telling you that. So <laughs> we'll leave no, it it's our that. biggest fan. So you know, I <laughs> am. <laughs> <laughs> my thanks to Adam my thanks to Sam get your comments in who do you agree with do you agree with me with Steve Bruce do you agree with Sam I can't even do it that way innit I'll do it that way no I can't even do it we'll leave it if you agree with Sam let us know in the comments as well but uh, make sure you watch all the rest of the videos tonight have a great weekend 
Crystal Palace nil Newcastle 2. We'll see you all very, very soon.